what's up guys how y'all doing today and what's up sussex squad y'all megan is out megan is walking around looking like a rich man's wife megan is also literally adding fuel to the fire that there is some sort of half in half out deal going on if you say now listen i'm not implying that megan is ever going to go back to saltine island However, I am interested to see if Harry and or Megan and the kids actually show up for Trooping of the Color. You see, today marks a two-month anniversary of waiting for a personality, Katie, her mysterious disappearance. William is out here rebranding himself as a single man, but we will talk about that later. We have to talk about what's actually going on with Mary, uh, Mary with Megan and Harry. OK, the reports are saying that Prince Harry is being isolated by his brother, William, but not his dad. That's right. William wants us to know that Harry can't come back this time because of Kate. I don't know. Harry's sitting there saying, Kate, who? Kate, what? Kate, where are you talking about? Y'all, I posted a video last night about an interesting theory about what's actually going on with Kate and those rumors that she might be pregnant. Now, listen, we can take that with a grain of salt, but go ahead and taste that salt because sometimes it seasons things just right. Let's talk about how Megan is still actively participating with her animal chapter, uh, her animal charity. That was when she was a patron and the queen put her in charge. And I know what you guys are saying. You know, she lost the patrons patronage, but she still stays in touch. You guys, nothing happens by accident. The fact that Bucketing and Powell's is not like, how dare you? The fact that Prince Harry is saying that he's making lots more trips to the UK to see the, their dad. The fact that Tatler Magazine, if you guys don't know, Tatler Magazine is the Bible of those stiff upper crust people. That is their daily mail. That is their mirror. They have connections directly. And when I say directly, I mean directly to the palace. Okay. They are saying return of the sun. They're saying why it's more than likely for Harry to come back. What's more, Buckingham Palace has made it abundantly clear, no matter how many cruel stories that William tries to leak about how Harry's not wanted, how he's not going to put around, blah, 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 blah. The situation remains. Charles is sitting there. I mean, he is a PR genius, looking like the doting father holding his arms open to Harry. They let them launch. They let them use the royal crest. Now, I know what you're saying. It's the right. It is the right to use it. But we all know that logic and fairness does not exist in the British royal family realm. So let's get this with Eden. Let's also forget that everybody in Buckingham Palace is like, go Harry, go Harry. And Kensington Palace is the one going crazy. Let's also not forget that there are reports in the all the papers that one of the reasons that what was going on with the Daily Mail was so horrible is because there was actually proof that members of the royal family were selling out Harry. Remember when the Daily Mail and all of them were like, whatever, we didn't hack your phone. I mean, maybe sometimes, but not all the times. And everybody was like, shut up lying. You did it all the time. Well, apparently they were half telling the truth because you know who was, they didn't have to hack Harry's phone. Do you know who was actually giving information and giving them access to Harry? William's team, William himself, and William's royal aides. That's right. The Prince of Wales has been exposed for not only allowing, but actually happen, uh, helping the tabloids drive his sister-in-law crazy uh, or try to, and also by default drive her husband crazy. Y'all, let's get into this. But let's also not forget that King Charles is very eager to say, don't put me into this. They said King Charles's kingdom men face fences with his younger son, but there can be no return to royal duties for Prince Harry unless, right, he stops all his money-making enterprises and issues an apology. Now, listen, that's Richard Eden saying that. Let's just cut through all his BS and see what it is. He says, I hear 
what I hear is that while the king is king to mend fences with his younger son, Prince, Will Prince William is adamant that the royal household should stick with the Sandringham Summit Agreement from Queen Elizabeth 2020. In that agreement, Harry and Meghan made clear they do not want to be reliant on public funds of their new lives. Aiden believes recent suggestions saying the Duke of Sussex was willing to return to the temporary role in support of his father were very well sourced. I believe that. I don't understand why everybody's so confused. Harry loves his father. He will do anything for his father. He has not cut those ties. If a father you loved, even if he did you wrong, needed your help, why you think that he might be on death's door? It makes sense he would offer. And I 100% believe that King Charles needs to know that he's in charge. I do believe that Harry would bend a knee, roll his eyes, and let his dad let him think he was in power. William's another story. Okay, let's get into this. Um, also, think about what they half in, half out. Megan does not have to be in. Megan does not want to be in. I do believe that Megan will might show up for fam like if she gets an apology, trooping of the color, all this stuff. I do believe that how many money making Megan can make the money. Harry can literally just show up as an ambassador for the Commonwealth. And if he lets go all because remember how they split their website into for profit and nonprofit? Harry can be in charge of the nonprofit side. Megan's in charge of the for profit. That literally abides by the agreements of the Sandraham. And Harry's happiest in that role. He's happy in going. He's happy in uniting. Now, again, we can argue about whether it'd be smart to trust it, but you know what it wants. The heart wants what it wants. Um. Okay, so let's get back into this. They said that an attempt to heal the rift in the royal family, King Charles and Prince Harry were said by the Times to have had several warm exchanges since Charles received his cancer diagnosis. Harry was understood to have told friends that he would uh, step into a royal role if needed why his father was around, why if his father needed. Yet, right? There's Rebecca, I'm not even saying what Rebecca English said because Rebecca English is in Kensington Palace. So you can't believe them. The only person saying there's no way back for this is William. Unfortunately, William is going to destroy the monarchy. And as much as people want to stand around and hold their breath, right? William cannot support it. Kate, wherever she is with this two months scene missing, can also not support it. Also, why is he fighting back? Um, why is he fighting back so hard? Well, there's a few people that we can actually talk about, okay? Um, the most important one actually is William. The most important one is William. At the end of the day, when it comes to William and when it comes to what's going on, it seems like William has been completely exposed. The publisher of the Daily Mirror has claimed that members of the royal family were responsible for revelations about Prince Harry appearing in the press. Again, I chalk it up to William, and of course I chalk it up to Camilla. Okay? Now, they are throwing Charles's name in there, but now that Charles has cancer, I think it's like, okay, fine, let bygones be bygones. Malika Helena said, so basically Charles, William, Camilla, and the other one fed them info about Harry, said this in court. Now, if you believe they suddenly stopped because of a change of heart, I have a bridge of ice to sell you. And that's literally all you need to know about royal reporting. Again, why do I think that William was spearheaded? Because the figures that were actually identified, Jason Knopf, Christian Jones, right? That was the hired help that kept it going. Harry was the scapegoat. There was also one other person. This is why I believe that... Um, William even sent somebody in to testify against Meghan because he did not want the realm of Britain to know the stupid mess that he was in. Again, this is an utter and complete political failure of the monarchy. There's no other way you can play it. Prince William literally destroyed any credibility he had, even though I do want to say this. I never thought in the world I'd say this. I respect William for coming out and taking a stand. As my, And again, you guys, 
You guys can talk trash about this if you want. We can start following principles and ideals and not people. What William actually did and said just this past weekend was very, very admirable. And no one, no one has had the B-A-L-L-S to come out and say what he said. I don't care if he did it for theater. I don't care if he did it to look better. I don't care if he did it to dunk on Harry. What he did was a good thing. And it moved the needle toward lives being sa saved. I just want to put that out there. I respect. I never thought that I would put respect and William in the same sentence. But it was a good thing that he did. Now that said, let's talk about how he, how he blew up, how history will remember him, his legacy. He blew it up because he is jealous of Harry. But being jealous of someone, it's not just Harry. If it wasn't Harry, he'd be jealous of his father. When it wasn't his father, he was jealous of Kate. He made it sure that Kate couldn't come around. William is pathological at this point. Okay? Yes, he's incompetent, but he's also easily fooled. Yes, I admire what he said about peace. I 100% agree with him. And you know what they say? Even a broken clock is right twice a year. His staff left a paper trail, but that led directly to him. But again, people say they're incompetent. Um, I don't think that they're incompetent. I think that they are, they have egos. I think they think they're incomp they're uh, untouchable. I think they think that they can do whatever they want and it's going to be okay. This is the same man that allegedly had his wife's best friend over why, she, why Kate was pregnant with his child over for multiple dinners to entertain him the way Kate wouldn't. Jason Knopf, Christian Jones, Simon Case, they've all been exposed. William has been exposed, but William doesn't care. And the media will cover up for him. The only thing William need, really needs to worry about is whether or not, and let's be real, whether or not um, the media is going to keep covering up for him. Because, baby, if they can't eat Harry and Meghan for dinner, who are they going to eat, right? The crown must be protected. But again, those newspapers care more about, um, they care more about views than they do about the crown. You guys, listen, let me know what you think in the comments. Again, William's an idiot. But much like Queen Elizabeth, who was an idiot and literally knocked a, 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 a child in Africa down because he dared touch her when she was younger, right? And she made that, uh, that statement about South Africa. Much like she was an idiot on all things, but she got that right. I feel the same way about William. And I just wish the Sussex Squad could be a little bit more, mm -hmm. unless y'all agree that he should, like, I don't know. But I don't know. I just wish the Sussex squad would kind of like not forget the forest for the trees. And everybody can believe what they believe because y'all be talking about what I believe. But at the end of the day, um, William doing one right thing doesn't erase the legacy of all the bad that he's done. You know? Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.